So let's see, this is, uh, this is actually my life. My life is in a bag. I travel with my life. I'm flying all over, collecting all these various cards along the way. Uh, let's unpack this. M.C. Escher is a master on tessellation. Geometry, blocks, cubes, relativity, distorted spaces, illusions that completely defy your mind. Martin Gardner, mathematics, machine. To me, there was no better fantasy world than the world created by J.R.R. Tolkien. Tangos, old Chinese puzzle, something what hackers do. They have to do things with limited resources. And it is out of these limitations that creativity springs forward. black and white. I'm a binary guy. I grew up on a diet of comics. This is where I got a lot of my creative inputs. I hated mathematics as a kid. It was until I started reading Martin Gardner. What's the mathematics behind puzzles? For it is from the light that light will dawn and then shines forth the eagle's cross. This statement has brought to me um, is one revelation that you have to position yourself at the right angle with the light. And sometimes just repositioning yourself in relation to the light source can bring about a completely dramatic picture. I was uh, walking in a plaza in Barcelona and I was walking around taking normal pictures, the usual stuff, kids feeding pigeons. There's no drama in those pictures. So I walk around, position myself against the sun. The people are no longer the subject, the shadows are the subject. And then at the right moment, a girl comes in and feeds the pigeons. And that's when I click the shutter The other thing that I like to bring to my photography is contrasts. It is not just contrast about light and shadow, it's, it's contrast about concepts. Happy with sad, big with little, many with few, dark with bright. Another interesting situation was in Dusseldorf. Uh, towards evening, there's a lot of crowds gathered, there's good weather, all the Germans like to come out and have a good time. And my attention turned towards a punk with a mohawk haircut. My objective was to try and avoid the crowd so I could get a clear picture of him. But uh, as I followed him around, I saw an angle with him silhouetted against the sun. And then he stopped and started talking to a friend. At one moment, the two faces were facing each other in profile view. His hair standing out in a perfect silhouette and contrasted with his friend who had a perfectly regular hairdo like I do. And to me, this picture spoke volumes of, of, of hair, of contrast, of styles, of personality, of same, same, but different. One of the themes that fascinates me is inversions. What happens if you invert the position of yourself with the light source? The main subject becomes a background, the shadow now becomes a subject. Simply by inverting your point of view with the light source, you've brought out a very different subject, which previously used to be not observed. Uh, my mind is on all the time, all pistons firing. Sometimes it goes into overdrive. Photography is a relaxation. It actually soothes me. To get a steady shot, you actually have to control your breaths uh, because otherwise your camera bounces, your hand shakes. I am drawn towards comfortable, cozy, relaxed spaces, crumbling walls, colorful people, people doing their own thing, graffiti all over town. Whenever I'm out taking pictures, the, the inner geek in me always surfaces. We are in Cambodia at Angkor Wat, and there's one particular temple that I was really interested in. It's called the Bayon. And the Bayon has a number of towers. Each tower has four faces of the Buddha on it. Sunset created some phenomenal contrasts. So the faces in profile receded to shadows. And then while I was clicking the shutter, the thought that popped out in, in my mind was this was the icon of the Happy Mac. Spectral line influenced by my geek culture. 
our minds also have this spectral filter our minds have certain bands we will selectively absorb some ideas very readily and selectively reject some ideas subconsciously so various elements that make up a photograph when they reach our mind they get filtered according to our own spectral lines and i read a poem written by some genius and it goes one day a mad meta poet with nothing to say wrote a mad meta poem that went one day a mad meta poet with nothing to say wrote a mad meta poem that went one day a mad meta poet with nothing to say and, and it just keeps on going on and towards the end were the words he chose to bring his mad poem to some sort of close were the words he chose to bring his mad poem to some sort were the of words close. he chose to bring his mad poem to some sort of close so every iteration has to be closed and this is the end this is tail recursion so i really have nothing to say